Hi, this is Mike from AHA. Having a central place for capturing feedback is critical to successful idea management. This is where Ideas Portals come in. Today, I'm going to show you the best ways to customize your Ideas Portals in AHA Roadmaps, including making sure your portal looks like an extension of your brand so you can create seamless experiences for submitting feedback. There are many things you can do to customize your portal, from branding to the layout of ideas forms and notification emails. But today, I'm going to focus on three key areas, choosing the right type of portal, branding, and terminology, so you can get started collecting feedback. Let's take a look. Here, I'm on the Ideas Overview page in AHA Roadmaps. Let's quickly go over how to create a portal and take a look at a customized one for inspiration. From the Ideas Portal section, click Add Ideas Portal. Give your portal a title, set a theme color, choose whether you want your portal to be public or private, you can always adjust this later too, then click Create Portal. Here is what our ideas portal for our fictitious Fredwin Cycling application looks like. You can see how the theme color I just selected is applied to the background and buttons. We've also added a logo, as well as a custom design to our header. Now that we have created a portal, let's take a look at how we can customize it from the portal settings. Let's start with the Overview tab. The general section includes settings that affect whether your portal is enabled, what you call it, and how users access it. Update the title of your Ideas Portal if you need to, and add a subtitle to include a message or explain what kind of feedback you're looking for. In the URL area, customize the subdomain of your Ideas Portal which is the URL that users will use to access your portal. If you want your portal to be included in multiple workspaces, go ahead and add them here. If you upgraded your Roadmaps account to include advanced idea management functionality, you can enable portal translation and set a default language, so you can gather ideas from around the world. Make your portal available in English, Spanish, German, French, and Dutch. From the Type section, customize who can access your Ideas Portal and the visibility of ideas. Select a full Ideas Portal where users can submit new ideas as well as view, comment, and vote on other users' ideas, or an Idea Submission Only Portal where users use a form to submit new ideas but not view any ideas in your portal. If you go with a full Ideas Portal, you can also choose whether your Ideas Portal is public or private. If you select public, anyone with the portal's URL can access it. So this is a great option if you want to allow everyone to give feedback and don't want them to have to log in first. If you want to limit access to your portal to specific users or internal employees, choose a private portal, where you can define a subset of users that can access your portal. With private portals, Ideas Advanced users can enable proxy votes, where users can vote on behalf of someone else. Use the Visibility section to choose who is able to view new ideas submitted in your Ideas Portal. Set a different default visibility for each type of user who submits an idea. You can always change the visibility of individual ideas as you review them later on. The final section of the Overview tab is Voting. From here, you can limit the number of votes a user can cast and allow users to vote more than once on the same idea. The next section we'll focus on is the Branding tab, where you can adjust settings that affect the look of your Ideas Portal, so you can ensure your portal aligns with your company brand. Select a color that matches your brand or input your own hex code. Upload a logo that appears in the header of your portal and in emails, and include a favicon, which appears on the left side of a browser's address bar. In the Custom section, you can dive a bit deeper into customization options for the look of your Ideas Portal. With Ideas Advanced, you can add a custom domain to create an even more unified brand experience for your users. Use the Code section to fully customize the HTML of the header and footer as well as your own custom CSS and JavaScript to your Ideas Portal. This is great if, for example, you want to create a header that allows the same theme as your company's website. Finally, want to customize the default button and field names across your portal you can do just that from the Terminology tab. There are more than 45 different terminology options that you can update to ensure that your portal reflects terms that are unique to your organization. Broken into five different sections, you can update general terminology as well as terminology relating to 
navigations, ideas, categories, votes, status, users, and custom fields. After you enter your own custom text, your terminology will be instantly updated on your ideas portal. There are so many ways to customize your ideas portal within portal settings, so you can make sure capturing feedback from your users is a seamless experience for them. Once you're up and running, you can always come back and further customize your portal as you need to. Try it in your AHA Roadmaps account today. And let us know if you have any questions. Our team is here for you. Email us at support at aha.io and we'll respond super fast.